Cheers. Oh, the world. <laughs> that sounds so fun. <laughs> it does, it does. <laughs> Are you a craft beer drinker or do you like the hard liquor or the seltzers or what would mm. your drink of choice? Mm. Wisconsin wants to know. Yes, well, more like a <laughs> seltzer or maybe a wine. Not so much a beer drinker. Yeah. How about you? Um, well, I like it all. <laughs> <laughs> right? All of the above. I'm a true Wisconsinite here. You know, the last name Merlot, I had to learn how to love that wine. And of course, I like my craft beer. So cheers to the beer garden, you guys. All right, highs yesterday were something to cheers to as well. Well above average. Ephraim coming in on the lower end at high of 77, while Wapaka took the lead at 84 degrees. Appleton and Sturgeon Bay sitting at 79, just shy of that 80 degree mark. Of course, though, still above the average high of 78, so we'll take it. And even this morning, we're warming things up by a few degrees or so. We're feeling that difference, especially into the north woods, is where we're really feeling that now into those upper 50s to low 60s as that heat builds off to the west. It's giving us some of that, so we're waking up to the low 60s into the Fox Valley and Lakeshore. Of course, those winds are barely moving, but they are pulling out of the west. That's where the humidity and the heat has been sitting. So right now it's a little sticky into Ephraim. The rest of us feeling comfortable, but we're all going to start to feel that mugginess as we head through the afternoon and our dew points climb to the low to mid 60s. So bright and beautiful out there right now by the lake into the Fox Valley, but Northwoods, you're starting to see some clouds rolling in and a few scattered showers pushing into the Pembine area as it rides along the border there into the UP. So otherwise, we're pretty quiet besides the deep south. They are still looking at flood watches and warnings ongoing as they got upwards of a foot of rain accumulating into Texas and northern Louisiana throughout the day yesterday. And it's still going on right now into the same areas. And this is kind of not our fault, but in a sense it is. I'm going to tell you exactly why. So you can see that into it's going to start to push into Mississippi as we go through the day today. And it still extends all the way into New Mexico area too. So here's why this high pressure that we're under is so strong strong and so vibrant it is holding that in place right there giving heavy rain to the same area over and over and over again so while we're sitting here under beautiful sunshine with a few passing clouds think about them just a little bit all right up to the north woods after two o'clock we are looking at those showers pushing in a few scattered thunderstorms could make their way into the green bay area late late this evening but overall should stay into the north woods throughout this evening no severe weather expected hot temperatures here for us today as the 90s return back into the Dakotas. And tomorrow, the cold front's gonna hit us. And of course, that changes everything for our midweek. Now, we're not looking at severe weather. In fact, the entire country isn't even looking at severe weather anymore. And we haven't had that in over a month. So just regular thunderstorms packing some heavy rain. We're looking at a quarter of an inch to nearly an inch, especially into the Northwoods areas that are gonna keep getting hit. So here's our Wednesday. We start off sunny after seven o'clock. Showers and storms are possible. Those clouds increasing, but more likely through the overnight and into our Thursday morning and Thursday afternoon, unfortunately. So soak up the sunshine while we've got it. Sunset is at 745 this evening. Highs climbing to those low to mid 80s today and then tonight falling down to the mid to low 60s, mostly clear skies and then those showers and storms rolling in by tomorrow afternoon after we climb into the low to mid 80s. We will cool things down after that Thursday a high of just 75 degrees. We'll stay into those 70s for your Friday. If you're headed out to sports showdown, Menasha and Nina, bright and beautiful out there and of course we're going to start our Saturday like that too. But Sunday's looking a little dreary. We are tracking showers and storms headed our way Sunday, Monday, winding down by Tuesday, and then some mid 70s after that. So enjoy the 80s while we have them. Yes, I mean, that's the last bit of like the summer heat. <laughs> I know, I don't want it to go away. Not just yet. Oh, me either. Thanks, Brittany. Still to 